everyone hope you've been well. So today I'll be making a beef burger with salad and honey soy dressing. So to make this beef burger, you will need 2 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, 2 burger rolls that is split into halves, you will need to cut 1 onion and 1 tomato into slices, 2 slices of cheese, you will need 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter to cook the beef patty, 300 grams of minced beef, a pinch of salt, and half teaspoon of seasoning such as pepper, garlic powder, Italian herbs, cajun seasoning, paprika seasoning, and one egg. Lastly, in order to make the salad, you will need two handful of mixed green, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and a pinch of black pepper. So over here, I've already taken out 300 grams of minced beef. All right. So I'm gonna add in around a pinch of salt. And then around half teaspoon of black pepper. Half teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of Italian herbs. Half teaspoon of cajun seasoning. And half teaspoon of ground paprika. Alright. And then I'm gonna crack in one egg. And then I'm gonna mix it up. So this 300 grams of minced beef will be able to make two beef patties. So mix it up. Alright. So when it's done, I'm gonna clean wrap it and put it in the fridge and chill for 30 minutes. So get your clean wrap. So the purpose of marinating this beef patty is to make sure that the egg acts as a binding ingredient which will hold the beef patty together and the flavours will all be mixed together in the beef patty. So I'm gonna round it into two round balls and press it in a round bowl and set it in the fridge. and then put it on a clean wrap. Do it the same for the other one. So try to make sure that both are of the same size so that they will cook evenly. All right. I'm gonna do it the same for this as well. All right, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get a round bowl and put the beef patty in, press it slightly so that it will form a round shape. Do it the same for the second one. So at the same time I'm flattening it to ensure that there's a cooking is cooking faster. So alright, put it in and put it in the fridge. Alright, the next step is to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius. This is for the bread roll. So all right, next step I'm gonna do is to melt the butter. So I'm gonna brush the bread roll with butter. And then scoop out around two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna be melting the butter in the water. Alright, add in the water. So alright, when it's melted, take it out and put it one side. Alright, put it one side. Cut off the head, so I'm going to be slicing it. And I 
and I'm going to be cutting the onion into slices as well. So alright, cut it like this. So alright, and put it one side. So put the tomato one side as well. So right now, it's time to wait for your beef patty to be marinated in the fridge. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. Hi everyone, so I'm back after 30 minutes. So I've already marinated my beef patty. So right now I'm going to cook it. And then prior to finishing the cooking process, I'm going to add in the onion. So the onion will absorb the juice that's released by the beef patty. So I'm going to be cooking the beef patty in butter as well. Set your pan to medium heat. Add in around 3 tablespoons of butter. Alright, reduce the heat to low and take out the beef patty. So add in the pan. And then increase the heat to medium again. So this process will take around 3 to 4 minutes on each side. And then I will use a chopstick to cook in the center to see whether the meat is cooked. Alright, while doing so, Take the remaining butter that you have from the burger roll and brush it on the top of the beef patty. So alright, be careful not to press the beef patty too hard because you don't want the juice to be squeezed out of the beef patty. So alright, while waiting for the beef patty, I'm going to start cooking the burger roll. So your oven has already been preheated to 150 degrees Celsius. So remember to check the burger roll every 2 to 3 minutes to make sure that it is cooked brown and not to the extent that it is a deep brown color. I still want the golden brown color. So alright, press the beef patty lightly. So alright, it is the heat. Check on your burger roll right now. So alright, another two more minutes. So alright, at this time, you can put in the sliced onion. So line it up nicely. So give your burger roll a check again. So alright. So the butter hasn't fully melted up, but I want to retain some of the butter on it. So I'm gonna flip the burger roll and cook it on the other side as well. So I'm gonna put the center on it to see whether it's cooked. So a little more. So while waiting for this, I'm gonna do the salad dressing now.
So take around two handful of your favorite green salad and give it a quick wash. So take out around two tablespoons of the honey. And then around one tablespoon of sesame oil. Two tablespoons of soy sauce and a pinch of pepper. Alright, lightly mix the ingredients together. So I won't be adding in water for this honey. So I, I, I have to make sure that all the lumps are all mixed up as well. So alright, put it one side. After you're off your heat for the bean patty, it's time to take out your big burger roll. Alright, so I'm going to do it the same for the other burger as well. Alright, put it in. Get onion. Tomato. Onion again. Last slice of tomato. It's alright. Pour the big patty, make sure that it doesn't fall off the burger. Any one slice of cheese. And the top burger. So put it one side. So put your salad in. So alright, get the seasoning and the dressing. So drizzle it all over and then toss it. So let the salad get into the dressing. So alright, so it's done. So get your burger again. And then add the salad according to how much you want. So put it on the side. Alright. And now I'm gonna try the burger to see how it is. Hmm. Can you see the juice that's leaking from the burger? Hmm. I'm gonna try the salad as well. So it's sweet and salty at the same time. The sweetness comes from the honey and the saltiness comes from the soy sauce. So it's a good combination. Hmm. I have to take another bite again. Hmm. Hmm. So if you're a fan of a burger like me, Try this recipe at home. So I've created this recipe a few times and I finally found a good mix for it. So thank you guys. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.